You might be somebody that's working on a book or a novel and you notice, well, of course my novel's going to get out there because look at all the bad novels that are published, right? Well, here's something that I just learned. A lot of novels are not published based on some, the people reading it in entirety. They are often given a book deal based on the first three chapters and a synopsis. So sometimes that's all that many of the gatekeepers have read, those first three chapters and the synopsis of what's to come. And here's the problem with that. Usually everyone's first three chapters are their strongest and it's usually the middle and end where things do fall apart and lose kind of the flow, believability, credibility, and just general, uh, I don't know about this for this character. Uh, and so that's, the, that's a really kind of disheartening thing I found out because I would always thought that books were read in entirety before they were published. And, but then the more I think about it, the more it makes sense because there's this weird hustle culture of being, of, of hurrying that is strange to have, I can see why they would do that with a movie because sometimes just reading the synopsis of a movie, you can kind of visualize in your head how it will play out. But a novel is a different experience than a movie and so actually reading it is kind of key because it's, it, it's an experience and an immersion into someone's head and reality. And so the fact that people in publishing don't read a novel in entirety before publishing, to me it seems like, well, what are you doing? You act, are you just pretending to be busy? Like, oh, I have to, to read tons of first chapters, so many first chapters to read, so many pitches to read. But somebody could have something that in entirety is what really makes it good, right? The, the unfolding is what makes it good. And so I just think that's just such a lazy and needless way of, of interacting with books. And it's a waste because you're publishing books without that kind of have sloppy ends and sloppy middles because you didn't bother to read them, you just assumed based on the synopsis that they might be just as strong as the scenes in the opening chapters. So I think that's a shame and I think that why is that the norm? Why I believe, I mean, surely there must be somebody that reads it in entirety, but maybe not. I mean, I guess this, this idea that everyone's just so busy, oh, too busy, can't do that. The truth is, is they're not too busy, they just can't be bothered to read the whole thing. Uh, I think that, that this, um, this idea of, oh, I'll just read the summary of it, is that's what we don't tell kids in school to just read the spark notes and then pass the test. Well, we do tell them, like some people tell them that, but we don't... We usually try to emphasize the finishing and that, that the experience of it unfolding is what makes it worthwhile. And this kind of fast food approach is really awful. It's awful because we have a waste of so many things published that aren't ready, kind of half-baked things. And then we have writers who put in so much work into that unfolding, into the middle and end, and yet, they are not read, they, they really, when, they, when I find out, oh, it's just my three chapters that matter, wow, that really adds a whole level of, I guess I got to make my synopsis amazing. And that's not what we should be thinking. We should be thinking, I got to make my entire novel really good. And, I mean, another thing that, that surprises me about that is that when you query a fiction book, as opposed to a nonfiction, you have to have it completed upon querying. Like, it's expected that you have a 90,000 man word manuscript. It's not expected that you just have an idea or a pitch. Um, a nonfiction, you can pitch without having written it. You can pitch with just an idea and an outline. 
So when I find out that fiction, you have to have it finished, but you're, the only thing that will be read is the outline in the beginning. Well, we need to do, we need to do away with that. I think we need to have way more credibility with the publishing industry to actually say, we read it all. We, once we know, once we know we like it based on the first three chapters and synopsis, then we read it all. Like, I would love to hear that. I, I, I'm fine with it at the onset. We have these kind of gatekeeping steps where one level is the query. The next level is reading the first three chapters and the synopsis. And then the next level is going to be a developmental edit of the entire arc of the novel, not just an, a developmental edit based on these summary lines of what happens in this scene. Um, and I never knew that before. I just learned that, and it's just shocked me. And I just think, that's a shame. That's bad. That's bad protocol for readers to find this out because no wonder there's so many disappointing books with messy middles and sloppy ends. And then it's disappointing to writers of novels who put in the time to make that middle and end and hone it over and over and over for often decades. So it's, that seems like something that is not because you're so busy, but because there's a little bit of this hustle culture in there that I don't buy. Anyway, it's a notes to my younger self because I definitely didn't know this and I don't like it.